No, you can't eat that. Because I can't. Why can't you? Well, hello, and welcome to what is going to be an amazing and impeccable video. <laughs> I never know how to start these things, so I just kind of say the same stupid random stuff. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, this is going to be a Bermuda Chub catch and cook. I have been having the hardest time trying to film this whole beginning segment of it. The, the reason being is because I actually filmed this a couple of times and uh, I realized while editing this video that my reasoning may be a little off on these guys. So here's the story. This is why we don't like Bermuda Chub. I'm gonna tell you the whole deal. Is that better? Anyway, so let me tell you the, the weird mentality that I have been raised with on Bermuda Chub. And we're gonna discuss this for a bit. Bermuda Chub, we find them schooled up around the oil rigs offshore. That, that's like the, basically the only place that you ever see them down here. Big schools of them, they, they're great for bait and all that fun stuff. The people who work on these oil rigs are not the most hygienic. There are no restroom facilities on these oil rigs. You, you know what I mean? Do you, you kind of catch my drift? These Bermuda Chub like to kind of get up in there and snack on that. And and here's the real problem with this whole thing. I'm um, thinking about that. I I don't really believe that that's entirely the case. I, I, I think, sorry, dad. My dad is one that told me this for like, you know, many, many years is why we don't eat Bermuda Chub is because that's, that's the concern and that's a totally valid concern and that is not something that I want to be doing. Now, the, the flaw in that is that I, I, I never see anybody working on these oil rigs. They're, they're like never there. Like, I, I don't think I have ever once in my life actually seen somebody out working and walking around on one of those oil rigs. I sure have not seen anybody going to the bathroom off of one of those oil rigs. Probably be going to the bathroom on the boat that brought them in, you know, before they actually got up there and did their work. The other flaw with this mentality is that, like, I, you never see these guys going to the bathroom. You never see them. These are big schools of Bermuda Chub, and it's not like if somebody goes to the bathroom one time off the oil rig, that entire school is now living off of that for the rest of their lives. Like, I just don't see this being quite the issue that I've been brought up and, and told that it was. Now, it was originally brought to my attention that we need to be eating these Bermuda Chub. They're actually pretty good eating. Somebody, I don't know the comment, but if you were the one that left the comment, let me know. And it was brought to my attention that they're decent eating fish, and it's something that I need to try. And so that's what we're doing today. I just wanted to give you some insight as, as to why this was kind of a, a weird one for me to do in the first place. And it wasn't really until I actually started editing this and I'm, I've now scrapped all that footage. That's when I kind of realized that, you know, maybe this is something worth trying and something that we need to do. And uh, the, the results were actually kind of surprising. So, you know, here we go. Let me show you the filet job. So filleting these guys is going to be like filleting just about anything else. Um, nothing special there. They got head meat, so you're going to want to get that up there. Like, you know, if you're really getting into this whole deal. Let's go ahead and do him just like normal. Sure how, you know, when we do these experimental things, I'm not exactly sure what recipe to run with. You don't want the recipe to mess up, you know, the flavor of the catch. You kind of want to experience it. Here's your filet. Now we got to get around the ribs just like anything else. No difference here between like doing a sheep's head, you know, any kind of snapper. Uh, it's kind of like uh, spade fish is kind of similar to that. I hope it tastes the same. That meat so far is, you know, I'm not seeing any worms, which I didn't expect to, but that's always something you want to look for. Um, it's, it's kind of white, it doesn't look too mushy. So those are all positive, you know, th those are things that you look for when you're trying to find a fish with a good filet. That's what you want to see. When you look at filets and how they taste and look and filet out and everything, I often refer to bluegill. And then the same holds true here. This is like filleting out just a really big croppier bluegill. They don't have any weird bones or anything, just that rib cage, the spine and the rib cage. You know what? Okay, so I was talking about doing this on a half shell. I'm not going to. I'm going to take that skin off because we need to check and see about that bloodline so that we get a solid, you know, bit of filet there. So let's get the skin off. A little bit of a bloodline. Um, you know, about the same as a sheep's head. So that that's kind of encouraging. Um, I, I'm going to say right now, this is going to be really a weird thing. If I really like this guy, like if everybody really wants him, we can get a ton of, ton of Bermuda Chubs. So if we really like it, 
I don't know what to do about my own personal bias with this. It's interesting. So um, we've got these little pieces of rib here. Let me go ahead and get those out. Um, I am going to go ahead and cut out that bloodline. We're going to try and get the best representative sample that we can. And plus the cats are going to want some. So that's cat food. All right. There are our fillets right there. Because I'm feeling all gross and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and change right now. Get into some fresh clothes. And let's go ahead and check out the kitchen stuff right now. I've got the uh, I've got the Bermuda chub all filleted up and I'm cooking it up as we speak right now. Um, the house is a little bit of a mess and for a very good reason. Rachel's parents are moving down. They've lived in Austin this entire time. They just signed up for a house out on Padre Island, which means that we're going to get like a whole lot more fishing videos done because we got a house down there that we can stay at like all the time. Sorry, Richard Maxine, you're going to take advantage. What's that? We have some place to put a possible boat. But only if you like and subscribe and share this video out with like every single person that you know, please. <laughs> so I'm cooking up the Bermuda Chub right now. Um, Savannah and Rachel have, uh, they have gone ahead and agreed to taste testing this with us. You really can't eat that. Because I can't. Why can't you? The Bermuda Chub? You eat spade fish all the time. You can't eat Bermuda chub. Spade fish don't come and cuddle with me. They come and cuddle with me. That's how I get them. Yeah. You, know, you're, you won't spear chubs, but you'll spear spades. Spades oh. are more cuddly than chubs. Right in their eye. Dead eye. <laughs> you want to come over here and say hi to everybody? You're like not on camera. And we look all rough, man. And we do look rough. It's been a long day. Uh, you're it's, this, <laughs> this is a Wednesday. We've all been working, so yeah. And Sabby's been working out. It's and yeah, she teaches yoga. Sabby takes dance, so it's like really late in the day. I work out. She works oh, out. Okay. How do you feel about Bermuda Chuck? It's not like pancakes. It's, it's beer batter. I did batter them. I did fry them. I can't. It looks like he's gonna come up and be like, "Look, there's the eyes." No, no. Look. Oh my gosh! No. I see Seriously, it. there's the eyes. I guarantee there's, there's the no. Tail. There are no eyes. I filleted up yet. You oh watched me God. fillet these guys. There's no eyes in that fillet. Look at him. Look at him. He looks so true. He is. Little bubbles coming out of him. His eyes. What I want to see is my family <laughs> eating some damn Bermuda chub because I want to know how it tastes so that we can get a whole lot of views. It tastes good. Yeah, that's the that's taste the fish, not the brain. It's burnt a little bit of hair. I had the oil a little bit hot. The fish is good. It's flaky. Who would you compare it to? Not whiting. Not white? No, I wouldn't compare it to whiting either. No, no, like like honestly, this is creepy. But if it was fatter, long john zephyr's cod. Odd. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to say. Sorry, Long John, sponsor me. Um, no. <laughs> that ain't happening. I know, right? <laughs> they can see our house here. They know. <laughs> we need it. Okay, my it's two okay. cents on this. It's okay. It's okay. It is a white, flaky meat. It's like a nice, like a it's nice, flake. moist. It's a good. Like, it is like... not soft. <laughs> you just make me think of, like little soft brown teeth. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, I'm gonna say Bermuda Chub is. Good. Okay, I don't want to say it's good. I don't it either, but it is. This is good, like, what would I compare? Like, not mahi, but almost mahi? It's not mahi. It's almost mahi. Oh, They're about this big. How big were the ones you got? Yeah, like that big. They're yeah, big. I, I bet that they taste better on their big. How big are the ones at Cozumel? The ones that come And how big like are the ones that... That, that you fillet? More like... I can't get it in the This is surprisingly good. Um, no, yeah, it really is. I was not expecting that. I'm not going to say that Bermuda Chub was the most amazing tasting thing yeah. ever, but damn, I was not expecting that. I eat a lot of spade fish. I like spade fish. I want to say this is better than spade fish. I don't... In Texas, and you want to get a Bermuda Chub, you go out to the oil rigs, you're going to see a very large school of them swimming around the rig. Take an apple with you, or an orange, that like fruit. Put it on a hook. They're going to be swimming all around the boat. Just drop that right down in front of them, and you know you can you'll end up getting them to hook onto it. That's uh, 
Uh, that's how you get them. You, if you're spear fishing, obviously you can spear fish uh, Bermuda chubs all day long. It's kind of worth it. These are not bad eating. Now I don't agree with the, you know, the hygiene behind them for the reasons that we mentioned earlier. However, filet was. <laughs> I, 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 we are going to, I'm going to be taking Bermuda Chub again in the future. Any questions about this at all, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. We really appreciate it. Like to see the video where we caught all of this, that is going to be uh, available right there for you. And of course, we have the entire season four playlist available for you right down there. Thank you so much. 